How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Subnautica. This is uh, part three and uh, in today's episode we're going to do a couple things. First thing first, I want to do a little bit of an ex of exploring. Um, over there if you see those clouds in the distance, there should be an island there. So we're going to go visit that island, explore on the island. Um, there's some things I want to scan there. Uh, a couple base... Oh, sky ray. There's a couple base um, building pieces there that we need to scan before we can get started on the base. And then after that we're going to get stuck in on the base. Now I've been a little bit busy um, collecting some resources off camera as well as um, scanning some things and creating some items. We'll run you through those in a second. But as you can see I've got a whole bunch of floating lockers that are full of um, titanium, um, more titanium. Then there should be some quartz and some quartz and then more titanium. And this one has some lead and some titanium as well. Damn dude, calm down. I'm busy recording. Gee. So. Um, we got enough resources to actually start building, which is always nice. I went ahead and built the habitat builder as well. And if we assign that to slot number five, um, if we click on it, you can see we, we scanned some resources on the floor bed, on the sea floor bed, and we found um, enough to make the scanner room. But I still don't have the multi-purpose room. And that's the, that's the goal for today, is we're going to go over to that island, find a multi-purpose room, scan it, and then we can get started on base building. There's a couple other things that are related to base building there that we can scan. Um, so that's quite exciting. And then when we get back from that adventure, we're going to get stuck in, create our first underwater base. Um, a couple things else. In the last episode, we visited the pod. And there were some data entries that we didn't go through. So we went to Life Pod 3. And we found their logs. I've also found Life Pod 6 while I was looking around and just gathering resources. So we'll go through it as well. Life Pod 3. Um, let's, uh, let's give that a listen. You really think it'll carry two of us? Your regular sea glide tows a mass of 80 kilograms at over 30 kilometers an hour. The power seller rigged to this one should double that. You think there's something out there that's faster? Oh, sure. And that's assuming it doesn't overload three meters from the Life Pod. You're calm about this. I'm seeing the engineering problem. If I stop seeing the mats, I'll be terrified. What a nerd. Alright, so basically, they made a fancy sea glide to take two of them away. <laughs> but when we went to visit the life pod, there wasn't anyone there, so I'm assuming it worked. Unless they got eaten. Now, life pod 6, I went and visited. It was the same story as life pod 3, not much around. Just a bunch of sea glide um, fragments, which we've already searched. Ma'am. I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Well, I hope she didn't stay in that life pod because it was completely destroyed and at the bottom of the ocean. So, she would have died. Um, there's another log here. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. <laughs> okay, well, they gone. Good job. They just blew themselves up. Interesting. Right, Um. so off camera as well, I just want to mention some of the things that we created. Um, we got the compass, whoops, which is down there. We, we unlocked the compass, we've got it installed. So if you look at the top right, we, um, top of the screen, we now have a compass, which should make navigating a lot easier. Um, and then obviously the habitat tool. So uh, without further ado, let's just head to that island, start exploring. It is southwesterly-ish. So if we just keep on that bearing, we should have no problem finding it. I don't think it's too far out, but um, let's go take a look. Another thing we need to end up creating is the radiation suit as soon as possible. It requires a little bit of lead and a fiber mesh. We do have the lead, we just need to collect some more fiber mesh. And the reason we need that so desperately is just around the aurora, so the ship, after it exploded, it created a whole bunch of irradiated zones. So I can't really explore too far without actually getting uh, irradiated. 
So we're gonna have to go and um, create that suit if we wanna do some more exploring in that direction. Which uh, we definitely need to do because there'll be a lot of fragments there. Oh, speaking of fragments, um, when we we're out collecting resources, resources off camera, we found a large debris field similar to that one with like half of a ship just sitting next to it. And um, we found a bunch of CMOS fragments. Whoa. Anyway, long story short, we, we now have the CMOS. We can just, we can create it once we get the mobile. Bay. Damn. These things are massive. See the baby's uh, reef bag. So cool. Anyway, let's keep on track. Yeah. We're, uh, we're making our way slowly but surely. I did bring an extra battery in case we run out of battery on the glider. Um, we do have, whoops, we do have some water as well. We just don't have much food. But we should be good. We'll see if we can't find any on the um, island there. There's some fish around. We found the island. That's so cool. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, whoa. Actually, look underneath. It's a whole floating island. Whoa. This is so cool. So it's got these giant floaters on, on the bottom. Ancient floater. Keeping this whole island afloat. It's so cool. Indigenous life form. Let's have a, let's re have a read about that. But it just suggests that these vast floaters have matured in an indigenous symbiosis with the land they have attached to. Okay. That was easy enough. Oh, what is that? Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Oh, thanks, Janet. Whoa! There's a whole biome on here. Look at these trees. Very cool. I wonder if there's anything bad on the island. Ming plant. Hey man, this plant's minging, bro. Cool. Can we scan a tree? Nah, just the mings. Was a cave there? Voxel shrub. Very cool. <laughs> Jaffa cup. Nice. The back of the uh, aurora. All right, cool. Uh, we're gonna have a look around, see if anything uh, interesting pops up, and we'll I'll bring you back once I find some. Okay. Well, there seems to be something down here. Ooh, pink. Pink cat mushroom. Let's take some of those. There seems to be like a f almost plant beds here. Can we scan it? Yes. Exterior growing grow bed. Marble melon? Some food? How much space does it take up? Quite a bit. But it gives you a lot of water and a lot of food. I'm gonna eat one of those. Drink one of those. Alien flora sample drop. Okay, so it doesn't look like we can eat the whoops, mushrooms. But uh, we can definitely eat those melons. Yeah, so far this island's been pretty cool. It's the first um, sort of bit of technology that I've seen. Oh, look, there's a little bridge. But uh, it's quite large. Oh, whoa, look at that. Huh? Let's go. Huh? Let's Yeah, let's go up there. That's exactly what we need. There's some things we can scan up there. And at the top there as well. Okay. Let's make our way. I don't know which one we're going to go to first. They look similar. Maybe we just pick one. Oh, and there's some stuff down here as well. I don't know what happened here, man. These look destroyed. Whoa! What are you? <gasps> this is not nice, though. Not a friend, man. That looks terrible. I do not like that. It's also getting dark. Great. Oh, man. There's a bunch of them around. What? Oh, is this a multi-purpose room? It is. 
fantastic. So we're gonna get the multi-purpose tool, which we can unlock. Whoa, 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 dude! You don't wanna, you don't wanna mess, you wanna mess with me. Come here. Ah! Bastard! Face hugging bastard! I can hear another one somewhere. No, is it inside? Yeah, we can get inside here. Whoa, pick up purple tablet. <laughs> cool. Sure, that's useful. Oh, look, the sound just came back in. <laughs> Neat. And in PDA. Integrating new PDA data. All right, well, we got new data. We'll go through that in a minute. Let me just finish scanning this thing. So we were so rudely interrupted. Oh yeah. Multi-purpose room. Damn. What is this? Can we scan all of this? Wait, can we? Wall, wall planter. Ooh. New blueprint acquired. Thanks, Janet. Okay, what is this? Is this a separate piece of building that we can scan? It doesn't look like it. I hear you, dude. Oh! Mm. I don't want to go in there and fight that man. Oh, okay. You just, like, instantly teleport to the bottom. Cool. Die! It's dead. Cool. Some more PDAs. Storage crate? Yes! Battery. We need as many of those as we can get. Banner PDA. Integrating new PDA, PDA data. Okay, um, let's listen to these PDAs and see what they have to say. Um, habitat installations. Planter and parts. Okay, we just unlocked that. Um, Degasi voice log. There's another one here. I assume there's some. Um, Island is called Degasi or Degasi or whatever you want to call it. Son, I said wait for the storm to pass. Your life's more valuable to me than a plant patch. You stop being in charge when the ship you were captaining sunk. I'll stop being in charge when you take charge of yourself. Say, Chief. Chief. What? Do you know how to drain those grow beds of 40 tons of storm water? Or how to conjure food from the air? I know how to prioritize. I'm just saying, if that's so, what's your boy's life worth to you today? If tomorrow you're gonna be so hungry you start wondering what he tastes like, let him go deal with the plants. Son, go deal with the plants. Bard, Torgal has disembarked the habitat. Interfere with my family again, and when rescue arrives, I will leave you here. Do you understand me? No rescue coming, Chief. Not in time. And no staying here, neither. This rain keeps falling, sooner or later this place will be buried. The only choice we got is whether to get buried with it. Ooh, she's sassy, man. Alright, there's another one. There's actually two more, so let's give these a listen as well. What is that thing? I don't know. I found it outside, in the sand. Uh, part of another ship? None I've ever seen. It's not even scratched. Uh, uh, don't fool around with it. It might be worth something. Stand down, Chief. If it were gonna crumble to dust, it would have done so when I picked it up. It's glowing. We're not the first people to come to this planet. People? Maybe. Could be aliens. Could be the damn sea monsters for all we know. One thing for sure, we ain't gonna find out by staying here. Okay, so they must be talking about that purple tablet that we picked up, which should be in our inventory, actually. Yeah, it is. Alien, ancient alien tablet with a purple symbol. Cool. That's, that's helpful. Um, let's listen to the last one. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. The only other survivors are my son, Bart, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. 
I hadn't made us salvage the Degazi wreck, set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Maida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. <laughs> this planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive as comfortably as possible until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months or even years. Okay, thanks, Dad. So it looks like they were Marungia, also from a crash quite a while back. Their habitat is completely destroyed, though. I wonder if they made it off. I wonder. Okay. So, there's, there was another one up there, and another base up there. So I want to go visit those, and see what we can scan. Alright, so we made it to the top. Um, bulkhead, yes please. We'll scan up a couple of these things, search the wreckage, and see if there's anything inside of importance. Probably some PDAs or something like that, we can give it a listen to. Composite can pot. Yes, please. New blueprint acquired. Ooh, an observatory. Give me some of that observatories. <laughs> we can scan a swivel chair. Acquired. Okay, very cool. Integrating new PDA data. Oh, this is log number one. So we were two. Okay, okay. This island is a godsend. Look out of the window. No predators. Fresh food. No building materials. Nothing left of the ship. And your kid says we're gonna starve without more grow beds. Speak up, kid. It's true, father. The natural growth rates are too slow to keep supporting us. All I'm saying is, oceans got us surrounded. No use hiding. Sooner or later, we'll get our feet wet. The rest of your life may have been a fight, Maida, but I've made my decision. You want to forfeit your emergency pay to take a swim? Go ahead. Believe me, I'm thinking on it. Okay, so I wonder if they didn't end up going into the ocean and living out there, kind of like we did. I assume that's what they did, because they've been talking about it. Whoa, you can see so far. It's just ocean everywhere. Alright, let's go visit that one next, see if there's anything new we can scan there. And then once I'm done, I'll, once I get there, I'll bring you guys back. I wonder if there's anything new we can scan here. We've got the bulkhead. Ooh, spotlight. New blueprint acquired. Thanks. I'm gonna drink that actually because we're low on water. The day's water ration ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration and eventual death. Indoor grow bed. Yes, please. Fern plant. Might as well scan it. From lantern fruit. Let's just scan this thing. Maybe we can end up growing it ourselves. I'm gonna take one or two more. Takes up a lot of space, so if I'm not mistaken, it does. That's fine. This whole mountain sounds like it's gonna collapse. It keeps crackling. Alright, so I've surveyed the, most of the island. I don't think there's anything else we can scan. So, uh, we're gonna head back to our pod. And then start constructing a base. I'm thinking we just build somewhere close to the pod as well. Because it's really central, it's, not, it's close to the aurora. There's a lot of habitats habitats around it as well, so it's pretty centralized. We should be able to get um, we should be able to explore everything else from from a base down there. I just want to find a nice um, location for it, so I'll bring you back once we um, we're down there, and then we can start building. Oh, 
Alright, so we're back. And I definitely think this is going to be the spot. There's a couple stalkers nearby. I mean, they're part of the um, creepvine jungles. Oh, he's right on top. If we just stay out their way, they shouldn't bother us too much. But they are dangerous. Alright, so let's get started with a multi-purpose room. Whoops. Um, let's put it right... I want to get it on top of this. Like that. Construct. Should grow some legs as well. Alrighty. We have started it may be construction on the base. It work and leisure spaces to maximize productivity. Treat this space as your home, but never forget that it is not. Okay, good to know, good to know. Um, we're gonna need to power this as well. So we need to make a... Ah, oh, we don't have copper ore. Man. I didn't think about that. Um, let's see if we can quickly go and... Um, find some copper ore. I'm sure we'll find some somewhere. It's not too hard to, to find. Copper ore? Nice. Alright, so we need a um, solar panel just to power it. Otherwise, once we get inside, it's just going to be obviously unpowered. Full of water. And no oxygen. And uh, we need oxygen to survive. So let's, um, let's make that solar panel. Create that. Alright. We pretty much just have a bubble now. A powered up bubble. But no way of getting inside, so we need to create a, um, a door. So let's add a compartment to it. Then we're gonna add a door to the compartment. A hatch. And we should be able to, um, Welcome get inside. Aboard, Captain. Damn, that's cool. Alright, so this is our base so far. Um, next thing that we need to construct is going to be, is definitely going to be a, um, a fabricator. So let's put that right here. Alright, now we can start making our own things in here. Um, I do want to make a, I want to make this a storage room. So let's make some large lockers. Let's just start by placing a couple on each side. Let's get another one. Large storage locker. Try and get them as neat as possible. Nice. Ah, oh, look at all the storage. All right, we're gonna we're gonna add a, we're gonna make a couple more of these, and we'll go um, we're gonna go back to our. Um, and to get the rest of our resources, fill them up, and then continue to construct the base. I'm quite excited about this. We'll add some nice features. I'll bring you guys back once I've added a decent couple of things to it, and you can see the progress over there. going to be our base design we're still going to fill it with some things i'm going to add more to it as well I'm not sure what i'm going to add yet but there'll definitely be more things when you get back i'm going to fill out the center compartments with some goodies as well add some more spotlights 
um, upgrade the scanner room quite a bit and get to using that. And then yeah, but I'm going to do some more farming off camera. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I certainly did. I think the base turned out quite amazingly. I can't wait to get to adding some more stuff and really uh, decking it out. Anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a like on the video and, get, and drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the Subnautica series. Let me know what you want to see me do next in Subnautica as well. Anyway guys, stay safe and stay healthy. Cheers.